I think the, the biggest thing you get once you've won a championship is a feeling of credibility and confidence, which I think we needed a, a bit more of at times last year. We, we performed well. Uh, there were just certain moments in games where we just didn't get that goal or we just conceded that goal. And I think that championship gives you a bit of an edge. You won a cup in 2009 with RSL and now you're a defending champ with the Timbers coming off of 2015. For you, it's your second, but for a lot of the guys on the team, it's their first. What advice have you given them? Well, I think that having that edge and, and continuing to want to prove something is very important in this league, especially with, with the amount of parity and amount of good teams, especially in the Western Conference. So I think that that day-to-day -day fighting and training and being together off the field is very, very important for the success of a team after you've won a championship. What's been the craziest fan moment in the offseason? I wouldn't call it, it was a little weird, but also flattering. A, a fan came up with a, a tattoo, and he tattooed me on his chest. I was carrying the MLS Cup, bare-chested, with a bunch of pink unicorns carrying me in a chariot. <laughs> that was pretty incredible. Uh, the fans here are second to none. They, they just love soccer, and uh, interacting with them on a daily basis has been a lot of fun. On a final note, how much longer are you, are you going to do this? Wow, that's a, that's a great question. I think I, I want to play as long as I can and, and as long as the, I'm good, obviously, and, and, and a contributor. So uh, I have been playing professionally year to year since uh, I was a rookie, and I'm going to continue to do that.